It's going to feel so good for you because you set the goals in your run the day that your boss walks out and hands you your paycheck and sincerely from your heart, you look him straight in the eye or her and you say, it's payday again. Okay. Feels good. You know what I mean? Okay. You're going to enjoy it. You're going to remember all the time that when you was out building the business, running the roads hard at night and, and chasing those goals and setting that game plan up. You're going to remember all the times that your wife never had time to keep the house up maybe perfectly clean like she used to. And then all of a sudden, one day, you wake up and you hear the vacuum running and you look over and your wife is still sleeping. It gets to be good. It gets to be good. And you remember how you used to go out and you was building the business hard and you was setting those goals and you was running. And you remember all those times when sometimes you'd come home at night and mow your lawn at 10 or 11 or 12 o'clock at night because you never wanted to waste the time mowing it. And all of a sudden, one morning, you wake up and you can hear the sound of the lawnmower outside and you ain't there. Okay? It gets to be good, folks. And you remember when your wife used to go to home interior parties and buy these little things and these little things and come home and stick them on the wall and nothing really matched. And all of a sudden, your wife was able to take and bring an interior decorator in and actually make it all look like it was supposed to be. And it, it cost money to do that. And you, and you look in your wife's eyes and you remember when you met her how broke that she was. And that you were. And as you got married and you struggled and you put it all together and you got in the business and you run the roads at night. And all of a sudden you see the sparkle in her eye as she writes out a check for thousands of dollars. And then the next week it's thousands of dollars. And the next week it's thousands of dollars. And the next week it's thousands of dollars. And all of a sudden she's gone from one room to another, to another, to another, to another, to another. And then you remember back at setting the goals and running the roads and paying the price and how far you've come and that it all come true and it was worth the struggle and worth the, everything that you ever did in order to make it happen. It was worth teaching people how to set goals and sitting down and, and making a game plan and putting things together. Okay? You remember when you used to go wash your car and you'd save up your quarters and, you, and you'd go in and you'd put two or three quarters in there and you'd have it all planned out how fast you could get that car done so you didn't have to put another set of quarters in the car wash. You know what I mean? And then you matured, you know, and then the business got cooking and everything. And all of a sudden, now you can afford to go drive it through a car wash once in a while. You know what's even better than that? Is when you have somebody that comes to your house and washes your cars in your driveway. Okay? Things have been so remarkable. I mean, these are little things. I don't even know if they mean anything to you. And, you know, you'll think of special things. I'm just telling you a couple little things that we've done. But you'll think of special things, you know. Like when you wake up in the morning, naturally, and you have the phone so that they don't ring because you have somebody else that answers them for you. And you wake up, naturally, and the most exciting thing is, is you don't look at the clock when you get up. You wake up and you walk in, you take a shower, whatever you're going to do, and, and you know what, maybe your favorite thing will be something like mine, where I like to go out and get a cup of coffee in the morning, walk outside. I like to watch the guy up there cleaning the swimming pool. I like to watch the guy over there trimming the yard. I like to walk around and watch the, the landscapers bringing the dirt in or backhoes or doing whatever it is they're doing. I like to look at the guy who's going up and making sure the water in the hot tub is consistently at 101 degrees in case we should decide to get in it at some point. I like watching the guy take the swimming pool temperature of the water up to 90 degrees in case you decide to go swimming one night at 1 o'clock in the morning so it's warm. It gets to be exciting. And you walk around and you watch the maid show up and everything and you look and you remember that you give your handyman a list of all the things that he needed to do. And he's over there working on the motor home and he's doing this. And then you, he's going to take the motor home down and put gas in it and put water in it and have it all clean and he's going to wax it and clean it all up. So that when you're ready to go camping or you're ready to go cruising to do some meetings with a family, what you do is you walk out and you get in it and you go. And when you come home, you don't have to worry about cleaning it and it being a disaster and unpacking it and everything because you just have somebody else do it. It gets to be good, okay? Do you understand where you're headed?